So Thomas Suchek is busy having the best season of his entire career so far, getting an impressive eight goals so far this Premier League season and helping his West Ham United team compete for a European spot. But ladies and gentlemen, how many of us truly know the journey that this defensive midfielder has gone through to get to where he is today? And that's why in today's video, I'll be telling you the story of Thomas Suchek, who was born in the beautiful country of the Czech Republic, a place known for its beautiful castles and um, Peter Czech. Thomas Suchek was born in the tiny Czech Republic town of Havlitch of Broad, where unfortunately as a child his family did struggle to meet ends meet. And that is where, from a young age, Thomas Suchek decided that he will pursue football as a career. And luckily for him, he did inherit his mother's running ability, as Suchek's mother was a marathon runner. <laughs> Lucky him, all I inherited from my mother was her short legs. But it is even said that after training sessions, that Thomas Suchek used to go for runs with his mother through the forests of the Czech Republic. And that has really helped him to get to where he is today because nowadays he is very much known for his stamina on the pitch. He has been described as the perfect defensive midfielder as he is known for his strength. He is six foot four. And now with his running ability and stamina, he is the perfect box to box midfielder getting from defensive to attacking areas with ease. And now we all know who to thank for that. Thank you very much, Mrs. Suchek. And he has even been described by Jose Mourinho himself as a player like Marouane Fellaini. Now, in terms of Thomas Suchek's playing career, unfortunately, he did fail his trials at quite a few different clubs, but was eventually accepted into the Slavia Prague's youth academy at the age of just 10 years old. Now, in 2015, when he was eventually eligible to play for the senior team, due to him still being inexperienced, he was loaned out to the likes of Victoria Zishkov, who apparently he was only loaned in instead of bought because the Zishkov manager didn't have much faith in Suchek's ability. <laughs> Something tells me he's kicking himself now about that decision. Now where Thomas Suchek really started to make a name for himself was in the 15-16 season straight after his loan spell because in that season he played in 29 out of 30 games for Slavia Prague in the Czech Republic League. And at that point you think that is almost every single game. Surely he has nailed himself down a first team spot. Well, unfortunately, not quite, because in the 16-17 season, Slavia Prague did transfer in the likes of Cameroonian captain Michael Ngadu Ngadu, and because of that transfer, Thomas Suchek only got 93 minutes of game time over three months, and that resulted in Suchek going out on another loan spell. Now, Slavia Prague did win the league title that season, and so did Thomas Suchek, but he did not play a big role in it, where if you fast forward one year later to the 17-18 season, where Suchek actually played in the final, where Slavia Prague won the league. Now you guys are probably wondering if that cup final was a sign of good things to come for Thomas Suchek. Well the simple answer, yes it was, because in the 18-19 season, the 6 foot 4 holding midfielder helped Slavia Prague achieve a domestic double. And not just that, Thomas Suchek won the Czech First League Player of the Year award. He was voted the best player in the entire league, earning himself a contract extension that would end in 2024 for Slavia Prague. But that did not last very long because six months later, there was a knock, knock, knock for the hammers on his door as West Ham United were interested. And that is when, in January 2020, West Ham United offered Thomas Suchek a six-month loan spell move because at the time, West Ham United were in a relegation battle. 17th place on the Premier League table, and they were in desperate needs of more defensive players. So that is when they brought Thomas Suchek to the Premier League, where he has really made a name for himself, because six months later, he was given a permanent contract to join West Ham United, where, as I told you guys earlier, that is where we are now. Thomas Suchek is having the best season of his entire career, helping West Ham United almost achieve a European spot. And it's not even just club level, as he has been part of the Czech Republic national team on a regular basis since 2016, where he has even won the Czech Republic Player of the Year award. Now, before I end off today's video, I thought that I would quickly give you three interesting facts about Thomas Suchek. First of all, he apparently loves his potato salad. 
<laughs> my man, I can definitely agree with you on that one. Second fact is that Suchek and Vladimir Sufal have played together at three different places. Slavia Prague, West Ham United and the Czech Republic national team. They are apparently very close friends. The third fact I have for you guys is that Suchek's favorite Czech player of all time is ex-Arsenal player Thomas Rositsky, which I don't know if that would ever influence him to play for Arsenal, but I'm just saying I like the looks of Thomas Party, Odegaard and Suchek playing in the midfield together. That looks as good as hot toast with melted butter on it. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have today for you guys in terms of Thomas Suchek. If there are any other players you guys want me to do in the future, please put down in the comment section down below. It doesn't even have to be a Premier League player. And try not to be too mainstream with Messi, Ronaldo, players like that. And of course, guys, quite a lot of research went into these videos. So please do subscribe and hit the like button down below. Would love to reach 900 subscribers by the end of the month. I did hit it two days ago, but then YouTube did some weird refresh where it got rid of them immediately. So I'm kind of upset about that. So I would love to reach 900 subscribers within the next week or two once again and 10 likes on this video. That is all I'm asking for, just 10 likes on this video. And guys, once again, I hope you know Thomas Suchek a tiny bit better. I will check you guys in the next video. Cheers guys, Finn, bye.